Um, okay, so in this video, I'm going to be going over a somewhat realistic example of a scenario and deconstructing it. Um, this is an example that I put together where it basically showcases mailing in weekly reports using the Excel app and the email app, the Microsoft email app. And um, so you guys can see it. This is the workbook right here. Um, it just has order number, order date, all of this stuff right here. So basically what this automation, this scenario is going to do is it's going to take the workbook, download it, and if it exists, send an email with the workbook attached, right? And um, I have it as mailing weekly reports because you can make it a weekly thing, um, have it set so that at 8 a.m. every uh, Monday, right, you can have it send out this email with whatever updated weekly report uh, this is right here, right? So um, yeah, I can go ahead and hop in here. For the first module, you can see that there are uh, just a list of folders. This is just the uh, file path necessary to help the um, module find the workbook. And in the second module, you'll see that all it does is take, it takes the ID from the first module. Oop, getting kind of crazy. It takes the ID from the first module and uh, that's how it downloads it. And if it exists, and I can show you guys the filter right here, if workbook exists, and it basically takes it, it's if this data exists, um, and you can change this if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be this specifically, but it, um, it could be either data from the second module, and it could also be number of bundle positions. And instead of exists, you can go to numeric operators, which did I pass it uh, right here? and you want to put greater than zero because if this number is one or higher that's when you'd want the automation to proceed whereas if it is nothing if it is zero you don't want it to continue because you don't want to send out a blank email or an email with no attachment because you can confuse people so for the sake of simplicity we'll go ahead and keep it like this because um, it also makes sense and to show you guys the email, you can see it says weekly order list update for subject and attached you will find the workbook for the weekly order list as the body. Um, I just have it as my email address so that it will go straight to me and I can show you guys the results once we're done. And it has right here at the bottom as a file attachment. This is um, the uh, results of the second module. So I will go ahead and run this automation real quick. And everything looked like it went through pretty well. So if I go ahead and open up a tab. Oh, no, Outlook, you can see um, I actually ran it a little bit earlier as a test, um, so we don't really need to see uh, that. But if I go to here, you can see that this is the file attached, the workbook attached to it, and you can see the body text right here with the uh, corresponding subject for both emails. So it looks like it went through pretty well. I can download it by clicking on it and open it up, but it will just open it up in here. Um, and um, yeah, you, if I go ahead and show you guys the different bundles as well, because I'm sure you guys might be interested in that. Um, pretty straightforward. Bundle one is just the output of finding the um, correct workbook using the specifications. And again, it's just going through the folder. I only have one uh, workbook in this folder. It's important to note. Um, it's stuff in the make course demo. Um, if you have multiple uh, multiple workbooks in a folder location, you could change the photo location or you could, um, you could add a filter right here. Um, if it's like this, you can just click the arrow to make it come down and you can go ahead and show that the name equals and type in whatever the um, name of your workbook is, right? Um, and yeah, just so that, that way you don't um, confuse the program or cause any errors or anything like that. Um, so for the second modules bundle, very simplistic, it just downloads it, so there's not really a whole lot to show. It shows you the data, but again, this is just binary. You don't really need to see all of that. It's just code. And then here, um, for the final modules bundle, you can see that it does successfully send the email with the attachment with the corresponding data, and it sends to the correct recipient, which is just me. So hopefully that gives you guys some insight as to what a realistic scenario or realistic automation looks like. Um, and hopefully this helps you guys create your own.